Hey guys, so today we're making Creo Slime. Da 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 da! And so the recipe is 5 ounces of glue, which is a half cup of glue, and then 1 fourth teaspoon of baking soda, 1 tablespoon of saving solution, and yeah. If you want to add color, it will still be kind of cool. Like, it'd look like the um glitter glue but if you don't want to add color glitter then just get everything in the bowl so really it for the size of bowl I'm using today which is I didn't use a couple days ago but the size of bowl I'm using today for the size of it, it's like going to fill up most of the bowl and it's going to, the glue doesn't come out that fast so don't rush it, just, and these glue bottles are actually recyclable, you can put water in them and use them to do like art projects and stuff, or just cut them up or throw them away, but, so, in here it's really dirty. But we have the one fourth tablespoon. Now, just dip that back into baking soda. Make sure it's even. If it's a little more, then it's okay. But if it's not perfect, then it's fine too. So, there we go. Oh, glue. Okay, now we're just going to mix that up. Now, it's not going to look perfectly clear. It's not going to be perfectly clear unless you let it set for three days. The way I'm doing it, you have to let it set for three days if you want it to be perfectly clear. But, who really cares? So, we aren't really going to use these. So, here we have my one tablespoon um, saline solution. So... It doesn't matter if you get a little extra in the bowl because it's the activator. Now everybody says to add it gradually. So really just put it in at different times, but it won't activate it completely. So I pour it all in at the same time and it absorbs it quicker. But it's still going to be really sticky because it won't absorb all of it at the same time. So, it's starting. Okay. It's starting to form. If you guys can see this, it's starting to form slime. So, this is really cool slime. I really like this one. It's really stretchy. It's still a little sticky because I haven't played with it for that long. And I don't think it absorbed all the saline solution or baking soda. Oh, here we go. So it's starting to get less sticky. It's really stretchy and look. It looks really cool. It's kind of like a snowball. But if yours is too sticky to you, you just... And what I always do is I get the rest of it out of the bowl so it calls for less mess. And you just uh, get everything out of there. Get everything out of there. And you just have to mix it some more again. And move the dirty dishes aside. Okay, so this time is really stretchy the way when you do it with baking soda and saline solution. Now, if you're worried about it dirtying up your dishes, the, if you use non-harmful glue, and baking soda is used to clean stuff, so if you use non-harmful glue, then you can make, use it in a normal dish, and saline solution is basically just salt water. So, you can do that, but five, ounces of glue, one fourth tablespoon, and one fourth tablespoon, and one fourth, I don't know anymore. I think I mixed them up, but it's this. <laughs> so, 
I don't know how to read measurements right now because I just okay five ounces of glue we're trying to scan five ounces of glue one fourth tablespoon teaspoon TSP yeah teaspoon and then one tablespoon one tablespoon above recipe and so if you guys are mad that this isn't completely clear you just have to get a container and that it's set for at least three days and it will make it completely clear but it's not clear because of the air bubbles so when you play with it it's not going to be completely clear but it's still really cool slime and it's not that pokey though because of the well, it's not that pokey because of the baking soda. And the same solution will not, like, will make it sound different when you poke it. So it won't, like, sound like you're poking it. But it's really stretchy and cool. Now, if you wanted to add foam beads to it, like, you could add foam See, the bubble was clear, but you could add foam to it. You could add foam. You could add coloring. It would make the color look clear. You, uh, you could add glitter. You could even add lotion to this. It just make it a little less clear, whatever you added. But it make it unique. So, with this, you guys can add basically whatever you want. I know somebody who added the big flown beads, normal beads, the small flown beads, and dyed it purple, and put it, and it turned out looking really cool it just wasn't as clear as it could have been but this is really good slime you guys and it's really stretchy so i'm not gonna like tell you guys this is the only recipe there is out there for clear slime because you can just eyeball it with an experiment but it's a re this is the way I always make my slimes because it's the stretchy it makes the slime super stretchy and I could probably jump rope with this and it's pretty strong like if you stretch it like as far as you, your arms width it's probably not going to break, but, like, you can still, like, rip it. <laughs> but, I think that's it. So, I, I, I don't know. But, it's really good sign. And, again, the recipe is five ounces of glue, 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 clear glue, or normal glue, who cares. One fourth teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of saline solution. So, going over the ingredients one more time clear glue or white glue, baking soda, and saline solution. Now, you guys don't have to dirty as many dishes as me, but I use this small little, um, give me a second. I use a small little metallic bowl, which is perfect. I might have, I could have mixed it in this. This is as much glue as I use. It's a half a cup of glue, which is five ounces. And then, oh, the spatula needs to be cleaned. I use a mix spatula to mix it. And, dun dun, a kitchen utensil. I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a measure. This one's one cup, and then this one's tablespoons. So, yeah. 
I just got this covered in tape saving solution. But okay. I think that's it guys. And bye.